Hello and welcome to our uh, next series of tutorial uh, for Intel Edition Board and uh, in this tutorial we are going to uh, work with sensors as well as uh, LCD. Now to begin with uh, we shall work with this LCD module that comes with uh, the Grobe starter kit. Uh, now when you look at this LCD very closely uh, you'll see four pins which is usual with all the group connectors but here you can see a CL and SDA. These two pins are specific to a protocol called I2C protocol which is a lightweight protocol for um, uh, inter-chip communication. A uh, couple of chips within the device, uh, chips outside the device can uh, share data with this uh, just like your uh, USB <coughs> a transmission line. and. Uh, reception line so it's a bi-directional transmission now uh, whichever device you see with this SCL and SDA like accelerometer or uh, this LCD uh, you can see in your board uh, four I2C ports are there at the bottom one two three and four so in you can plug in this device at any of this port so what I do is I just plug in my LCD over here so once you have successfully connected you'll see uh, the small uh, lines over here black lines and nothing else uh, that's uh, simply because we've not uh, written any code to work with the LCD as of yet so is the LCD connection now uh, to get started with any of this group starter kit, one of the uh, great starting point is the Seed Studios GitHub page. You could just uh, check out with this link and then you can search for say LCD. You can see the group LCD RGB backlight module is there. Just uh, start up with this and download the zip file. I've already downloaded this go to this folder and uh, so all we want to do is we want to add this uh, module into our Arduino code as we have uh, so far done so we'll go with sketch include library add zip library You can see group LCD RGB backlight and just add. Soon that you've added, uh, if you go for the examples, you should be able to see this added module. Here we go. You can see a group RGB LCD backlight module. Now you can see a hello example here. Now we'll be doing many changes in this example, so let us just save this as uh, LCD my some name and uh, this is an in <coughs> this is an example LCD program now if you have a closer look at the program it includes something called wad.h so this wad.h is uh, specific to any I2C protocols it's been uh, taken care by this and rtvlcd.h interestingly all you have to do is you have to declare an instance of rtv underscore lcd and no more initialization if you have already worked with uh, dual line uh, 16 character uh, lcd which requires four uh, data pins connection with uh, conventional arduino you know that you need to initialize that with the pin configuration but uh, no such thing over here, you just need to declare an instance of RGB LCD. Uh, of course, because it supports a uh, uh, range of colors, red, green and blue, uh, you can set the color with uh, set RGB. This is an extra <coughs> command that uh, you have uh, along with the conventional LCD command. LCD dot begin 16 characters, 2 lines. 
and then you can print any message and uh, after a delay we are looping and at every loop we are just uh, displaying the current milliseconds okay so let's burn this program voila you can see hello world and uh, in the loop it's looping uh, it's displaying the uh, milliseconds and uh, you can see that uh, our LCD is working well that's just about the easiest thing that we have done so far uh, the quick now we want to do something meaningful uh, with this I want to display the temperature so for this specific uh, model we'll uh, take the temperature sensor group module which is coming with uh, group kit uh, you can see the temperature sensor being written at the back so uh, look uh, sensor is something that converts uh, any physical activity into electrical signals and then this board addition board just like uh, our Arduino has got an inbuilt ADC of 10 bit which uh, accepts the signal and converts it digitally uh, so that you can display store or whatever now when you look at this uh, sensor you'll see uh, there are four pins one is ground one is VCC one is NC and one is uh, signal so NC is not connected signal is the one which uh, concerns us and uh, the YOLO line is the signal line over here now any sensor needs to be connected any sensor that comes with uh, this VCC ground and signal and NC should be connected here right here so there are uh, four analog uh, group pins that we see in Arduino we have A0 to A5 but over here we have uh, A0 to A3 four, four uh, sensor pins so let me uh, just hook this one with the A0 pin well once you have connected this temperature sensor it looks something uh, similar to this so you have A0 pin which is uh, connected with this uh, temperature sensor and then you have this LCD so now what I want to do is I want to get the temperature program running and then I want to display this temperature right here at the LCD so just like uh, you've uh, done with the LCD sensor uh, let us search for the temperature sensor here you go you see that group temperature sensor uh, just uh, be sure to uh, double check with the module name what's written over here this temperature sensor version 1.2 that uh, I'm having so we'll uh, download this temperature sensor module and uh, you can see that uh, in temperature sensor we don't uh, have any such thing called uh, any library so it's just an INO or uh, Arduino sketch all you could do is just open the sketch and check out uh, as we know that uh, any temperature any any sensor will convert a uh, physical phenomenon into electrical signal uh, but every sensor will have its own data uh, sheet as how it's converting any uh, signal into electrical signal now so the Grove, uh, the Seed Studio gives you a good idea about how it is done. Uh, the analog signal has been read and then its resistance has been obtained and then finally that's converted into temperature. Without going into much details of how it's been done, we are simply going to copy this part of code and we'll put it in our program. So we are going to first read this and then uh, we'll read the resistance value. All we'll do is just copy this parameter over here. So we have this temperature value. Now we want to display the temperature. Now as you can see in the first line 
we were printing milliseconds so rather than printing milliseconds what we are going to do is we are going to print the value of temperature so all we'll do is we'll print the value of temperature all right let's burn the program and let us see what exactly is happening over here say it's about 27 28 degree centigrade and uh, you can actually check if there is a variation or not you can uh, just keep your hand closer to this just try to uh, increase the temperature just rub the chip a little bit the temperature will be increased a little so uh, you can see how the temperature uh, is working over here uh, look at this instance there was no updation so having said that I want to uh, extend this project and we want to do a simple bit of stuff I have taken a group LCD buzzer you can see this is this works just like your uh, LED that we covered in the first tutorial uh, this uh, should be controlled with the digital pins. So what I want to do is, whenever there is a high temperature, I want to, uh, you know, uh, make a buzzer sound, and when the temperature goes low, the buzzer should stop. So uh, let me just connect it with uh, D6, which we had earlier done. So. We So this is the uh, connection now, we have a buzzer being connected with D6 and we have one LCD connected through I2C uh, protocol, we enjoyed it, just uh, build your alarm system, you can build any sort of alarm system with this, we shall again come back with one more tutorial, thanks for watching, uh, do it and do it safely, thank you.